Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for that most generous introduction. Thank you for all the work that you do on behalf of the California Democratic Party. I also want to thank my good friend, the great chairman, Mr. John Burton. We are so proud of you, Mr. John Burton. And to the great staff of the California Democratic Party for the fantastic convention that they're putting on. Let's give it up for them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn over the microphone momentarily to Brielle Cruz Vega, who's going to underscore for each and every one of us exactly why we are here today. Brielle? Dear Republicans in the legislature, I'm here today to speak on behalf of my friends and for thousands of students around California. Please, do not kill my future. Do not cut thousands of teachers that are working hard to make a future for me and my friends. Do not cut health care for my parents, my family, and me. Do not eliminate my college opportunity. And please, do not kill my hopes and dreams. Thank you, Senator De Leon, and thank you, Democratic Party, for fighting for me and for millions of students like me throughout California. Thank you, Brielle. Thank you, Brielle. It is because of you that we're here today. Friends, we're dealing with a serious budget deficit, the magnitude of which we have never seen before. And the distinction between the Republican and Democratic parties have never been more clear. The Republican Party is working for a state that's a state of divisiveness and decay. We are fighting for a California that is a state of opportunity and promise. The Republican Party wants a state that cuts Five billion dollars more from education. That's a society where there are fewer pathways for our children, like Brielle. And for some children, what that means is the only pathway is to CYA, to Vacaville or Folsom or Chino or San Quinn or Pelican Bay, as opposed to Jefferson High School, Cal State LA or UCLA. The Republicans want to cut. 52,000 more teachers from our neighborhood schools. 52,000. They want a school year that is 22 days shorter. Basically, immediately after spring break, school is over for the year. They want a state that eliminates 170,000 students from community colleges. The Republicans want a state that increases the University of California fees by 25% and doubles the fees at the Cal State University system by 50%. That breaks our historical covenant that we have with working families, with middle class families, that guarantees that every child, every student will have a seat at the table with a great education and everything that that brings. They want a state that eliminates $500 million for police and sheriffs in our own communities. Is this a state of California that you want? No. I said, let me hear you. Is this a state that we want? No. I'm the youngest child of a single immigrant mother with a third grade education who, regardless of our poverty, always held her head up high with grace and with dignity. I witnessed my mother clean homes in the most exclusive neighborhoods. In fact, I witnessed my mother spend the vast majority of her life cleaning other people's homes. And it was through her that I learned the value of hard work and the value of a strong work ethic. I know the value of hard work. If my mother were alive today, she would not want the Republican vision that we have today for the state of California because this is something that we don't deserve. We all do not deserve that because we know that we can do better. We are better than that, and we must do better than that. Yeah. 
As this budget battle is fought, I must mention that we are most fortunate in the State Senate to have a great Democrat and a great leader in Daryl Steinberg. Let's please give it up for Daryl Steinberg. He is a leader who's tenacious enough to fight for a different state. He's leading us in a fight for a state of equality, a state of opportunity, a state of opportunity no matter who you are, a state of opportunity no matter where you come from, a state of opportunity no matter who you choose to love, no matter what language you speak, no matter what job you have. That is Daryl, and through Daryl's leadership, we are standing up for students and teachers and firefighters and cops and nurses and children and working people and working families throughout the state of California. We are not, we are not willing to write off a whole generation of kids like Brielle by devastating our education system. We cannot concede to the extremists in the Republican Party who, along with their Tea Party cronies, what prefer to take us back 250 years. These are the same Republicans, the same Republicans who gave you, who refused, I should say, who refused to give you the right to vote on solving our budget crisis. These are the same Republicans who abandoned, who abandoned you and abandoned California by refusing to participate in the legislative process. It was stunning to me that there was even a question about letting the people vote on solving our budget deficit. Over the past several months, several weeks, we have witnessed men, women, and children in several Middle Eastern countries fight for the right of self-determination. Egypt, Tunisia, Yemen, Libya, these men and women simply want the same things that each and every one of us have, that what we're fighting for here in California, the right to vote, the right to self-determination, the right to democracy. Friends, our founders built a nation whose democratic principles have served as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the rest of the world for the last 200, the last 250 years. These principles, these very same democratic principles have guaranteed a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That government provides each and every one of us in the hall and outside the unalienable right that the people will govern themselves and that tyrants will not decide their fate for them. That power was invested, was vested by our founders in the people and the Republicans in the legislature have made it clear that they side with tyranny over democracy during this budget debate. Do we participate in the politics of destruction or do we participate in the politics of opportunity? We all share this abiding faith in a better California. I invite each and every one of you to join Daryl, the Democratic legislators, and me to fight for California we know is possible. Are you up for that fight? Yeah. I said, are you up for that fight? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Democrats, for your great activism. Thank you for fighting for the Democratic values. And thank you, most of all, and most importantly, for fighting for students like Brielle and millions like her. Thank you very much, and God bless you.